We f***ing did it! Let's go, look at this. All these brand new footballs, thanks to you guys, you guys. All right, you guys came through so clutch. We've got six brand new balls mixed in with the old two. It's gonna be so much easier to make content now. And the first video I'm gonna make with these new balls is what is the difference between a ball like this, okay, and a ball like this, because there is quite a few. So let's just hop right into it. So the first thing that I always look at with something like this, okay? See, these brand new footballs, one thing you're gonna notice, look at this, this tip right here, okay? First and foremost, this tip is a little bit sharper, okay? And this round part right here is a little bit steeper from edge to edge. What this means is a lot of people don't realize this is like your sweet spot in this area, okay? This is kind of a miss hit, this is kind of a miss hit, just because the angle it bounces off the ball at it. Now right here, okay, even as far as just a slightly more broken in ball, very subtly, you can tell that it's a lot more forgiving on these curves. This doesn't mean that your big ball is going to be any more big. What it means though is that you have a lot higher variance because now hitting right here isn't changing the angle that's coming off your foot so much from here to here. It's going to be a very different ball, which is super important. And where the nose is rounder, it fits kind of into the hand a little bit more snug if that's what you're used to, okay? Like it just, it just, it just sits right in that palm. You see that? See how good that feels, that looks? Where this, when you go to hold it, it kind of can create some separation. I know a lot of NFL guys are more like fingertippy. They like a little bit of space in there. Okay, shout out to Tommy Townsend and his Rihanna post. Uh, but I know a lot of guys like it a little bit more in the fingertips. I personally like to palm the ball a little bit more. But how broken in it is, it's going to change how round that nose is. Um, and then, like I said, this uh, the, the steepness of the belly of the ball changes how drastic the miss hit is. So, now you might be wondering, so what does that leave for the difference between turning over a brand new ball versus turning over a well-used ball? Well, today we're gonna do that with a little bit of science. I'm gonna try to turn over 10 new balls and then turn over 10 NFL balls using relatively the same technique, relatively the same power level. Obviously, I'm gonna try to just stay consistent and see how much variance there is from ball to ball. Are these gonna carry further? Is it gonna take me how many more tens to turn 10 over? I can't talk today. It doesn't matter, but we're gonna use science and uh, just see what the difference is so that way you can kind of know what to prepare for. Before I begin, one thing you should always do when you get a new ball. A lot of guys want to break it in, blah, 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 whatever. If you want to oil it up, leather it up, you use hand sanitizer, I don't care. Biggest mistake I see guys is they get the ball out of the box and it feels hard. So they're like, oh, it must be fully pumped up. No, the leather is harder, okay? So a lot of times you actually need to put more air into it. Otherwise you're gonna be like, oh, the ball is just not flying. In reality, it's just under pumped. A lot of guys don't play around enough and an under pumped brand new ball is a nightmare because they're really not gonna go anywhere. But let's get into the first five. It, if it's a decent miss hit, it's a 42 yard miss hit. Now we got four, we gotta hit six more. That was kinda ugly, I don't think I'm gonna count that one. Definitely not gonna count that one. Oh my god, is it gonna take forever? Twelve, which has me at about 66% turnover. So I just need two more to get to eight to 14. Pretty decent ratio, not great. This is actually the first set I've hit. I already I went for a jog to warm up, so I just came right out to start kicking. But I need two more, so let's see what we get. Okay, so it's worth noting too, right? I'm not trying to hit a big ball because I want to try to reduce variance as much as I can. So all I'm trying to do is just step, get my foot into it because I want to see how much 
the leather, the new stitching, the new laces, takes off of a ball, okay? So we're gonna have all the averages up on the screen. Now we're gonna compare it to 10 old ball averages to see if there is any sort of discernible difference. All right, so this is, I only have two still old ones. So it's gonna take a lot of attempts. Hopefully I don't need to go down and back seven times. <laughs> we don't have or I don't have the numbers right now but my gut feeling says that the older ball is kind of won by a decent little margin I, I don't really know what's going on with the hang times like I don't know those numbers I didn't really try to track them or estimate them but it definitely from just looking at them and how it felt off my foot felt like the older punch just kind of had a little bit more waggle had a little bit more float in the air and that can also do with the round they're going to be less aerodynamic so they're going to have a little bit more resistance and hover but also while being less aerodynamic they also went further i feel like at least three yards on average i missed hit a lot less if you notice i hit 10 acceptable balls in 12 reps on the old punts while on the new balls it took me 14 to hit 10. Now, part of that, like I said, was I hit the first set of the first of the day. And another hard thing to sort of interpret was was I hitting the ball as the exact same power every time? I really was trying to. Uh, I've got a pretty good, like I call it my 40% form, right? Where I'm just stepping and just trying to make contact. So that's pretty consistent. And as you can tell, there wasn't a lot of outliers on like distances, which is what I wanted. I didn't want a lot of outliers. That's why I didn't include the miss hits. Uh, it's because I wanted to just see when the ball comes off the foot clean, at the same power, how much are we gaining or losing by using an older ball? And what it feels like is we're losing a good bit by using a newer ball. So high schoolers, college guys, if you can, get a slightly more beat up ball into a game. The numbers are gonna be on the screen while I'm talking. But I, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something. I feel like I did, or if anything else, just confirmed something and gave you some numbers to work with. But otherwise, have an amazing day. Peace.